All right, guys, welcome back to our pinup system series of videos. And this video is basically getting started. So uh, before we uh, start setting up a uh, pinup popper itself, uh, I just want to point out one thing. Uh, after you've done your installation and your initial setup, depending on uh, how you had your uh, system set up before with a DMD or a real DMD or a virtual DMD, you're going to want to go into your visual pin main folder and you're going to want to confirm a couple of things. First, you want to go and make sure you have the, the DMDX, the, the, this pup file here, the INI, this one, and this one here, and this one here. These are, you got to make sure those are in there. Uh, that way, you know you have the right files installed. And then you want to go into your DMD device INI file, and you want to go through and make sure this is configured correctly for your setup. Uh, you know, it depends on if you have a real DMD or, you know, a virtual DMD. If you have a virtual one, then you're going to have to configure your position and your size in here. Uh, if you have a real DMD, then you're going to want to turn off the turn off the virtual DMD and make sure that your real DMD is set and uh, enabled in here. Uh, so the only other thing you really got to double check is this down here to make sure that this is entered. This is the only thing that gets modified in the file. Uh, when it gets uh, installed. So just double check this before you move on. Uh, if you're a real DMD user, that's a longer thing. Uh, you know, you guys have a little more going on than the virtual guys. So uh, either way, you guys have to check to make sure your settings are good in here. So after you've done that, then uh, we're gonna move on and we're gonna do our uh, pinup menu setup. So the pinup menu setup, well, actually before I do say anything, the, the files that you find in the pinup system here, the ones that you'll be using are pinup menu, that is pinup popper, the front end. That's the one that will actually run pinup popper. Uh, pinup capture, that's the one that's gonna be used for creating your own pup captures. You don't need to touch that, that's another video. Uh, you don't need to do any other files here. The only ones for setting up that you need to worry about are the batch file here, pinup player config displays. If you wanna go back and change anything here, that's what you do. You go and uh, set it all up there. So any other changes you want to make, that's how you do it. For just your, your screens, your initial screen setup. So you don't run pinup player. And the pinup pack editor, that's what you're using to change pup pack. So before people start clicking around stuff, I just wanted to explain uh, briefly what all these do. Uh, so what we are doing for pinup popper is... It's pin up menu to run popper and pin up menu setup to configure it. So we're going to configure it first. Do not run it first. We're going to configure it first. Do things uh, the smart way. So, all right. So this is our initial screen uh, that we are uh, presented with here. And uh, basically, you want to do your first initial setup before running anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the popper setup. And we're going to go to global config. So this screen here is basically where you can give uh, your friendly name, whatever your cab name, whatever you want it to be. But the initial thing you want to set up is your default media directory. Now, if you got your setup installed on your default C drive, then you shouldn't have to change anything. But if you've changed where your media is located, then you're going to have to set that in here. And you just click on this and set that. Uh, your startup volume is all good there. So uh, the next thing you'll do is for the displays here, you should not have to change any of these. By default, they're set up correctly. Uh, this is only for more advanced stuff, so don't touch anything here for now, guys. Uh, game, game wheel and toolbar, uh, again, for the default setup, you don't need to really change anything here, except for uh, you want to check what kind of a controller you're using. If uh, you don't use a controller at all, like a, a, a gamepad controller, uh, then you would choose that. If you have a controller that's X input, which would be newer ones, like uh, Xbox 360 or Xbox One style game pads, then that would be X input. If you're using something like, say, I don't know, like Pinscape or some of the, some of the other ones, then you're going to want to do the Direct X or the D input joystick driver. So that, that you know, depending on what you have for a controller, you'll have to change that up. Uh, for myself, I use X input because I use I have an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, don't go changing around with any of this stuff, except for, uh, you know, if you want to have a, a background image for your wheel bar and whether or not you want a transparent wheel bar, which you'll want to usually have that enabled all the time anyway. But for this one here, that's if you have a background image for your wheel bar. Uh, so that's about it, though. 
Don't go messing around with this stuff. That's for more of another video that we'll get heavy into. We're just dealing with the default install setup for now, guys. Uh, a track mode. So basically, just set this up so that uh, you know you can have it uh, go into a track mode after a certain amount of time and how long you want it to switch between uh, between your games. Uh, this here, the startup script. This is basically what you want to run at the beginning of loading uh, Pinup Popper. Now, this is actual batch script commands. I'm not going to get into that right now. That's kind of another video. But basically, if you understand Windows batch files, then that's literally what you'll type in here. We're not doing a, a click on a program type thing because we're all about be having total control with Pinup Popper. So by having it use batch commands, it's way better. And you're not dealing with multiple files. It's all done in one location and it's much better. So I recommend you guys get to know basic batch commands. Uh, the script here, this is basically for the main config file for Pinup Popper, uh, only for advanced users. Uh, if you click on this, you'll see it come up. Uh, you know, lots of settings in here. Don't touch it unless you know what you're doing. The only one I will point out is uh, this one here. Uh, for DUF, if you want to use DUF with Popper so that you'll have like the lights and uh, feedback while browsing in Popper, then you change this to true. Otherwise, don't change anything else in here. And uh, the network, we'll get into that. That's another video. Uh, so, so when you're done here, you save your settings. And uh, so now that's your initial setup. Now you have to set up your emulators. It's very important to go in this order, guys. So we'll do the emulators. So I'm just going to do a basic explanation here. I'm not going to get into super details, but uh, like any other typical emulator, you would set up where your main program's location is. We're not going to tell it what, what the program is. We just tell it where it's located, uh, where your, uh, your tables, or your games are located, what file extensions, your ROMs, and your media. Now, everyone's going to have this different. Uh, I know I have it different from mine. Uh, so... Yeah, uh, go through this process, and uh, for your displays, if you're not sure uh, which ones you want to keep open after your game is launched, then just hover over this, and then it'll tell you what number equals what if you're not sure. Uh, you can see there, like, uh, 0 equals topper, 1 DMD, 2 backlash, and uh, so go through this. You need to have it enabled. By default, we have pinup uh, Visual Pinball X already uh, ready to go for you guys, all right? Now... I'm not going to go through super details right now. This is going to be another one. But uh, basically, the launch setup here, this is uh, the launch before and uh, the cl uh, closing after you exit your emulator. Again, we use batch commands. Don't let this freak you out. This is set up for you guys already ahead of time, so you don't need to do anything. You just need to tell it where your Visual Pinball X stuff is located. That's it. It should automatically be set up to run. That's why we did this for you guys. All right. So you shouldn't have to touch any of that. And network, again, another video. So all, all the main uh, ones are set up. Like we've got Pinball FX3 set up. Again, you may have to change something in here for your particular setup. Again, that, well, that's another video. Uh, you may have to enable it and so on. Future Pinball already set up. Just enable it if you need it. Only set up for BAM. That's the only uh, standard now. All the details are in here, but again, you should be good to go for a basic setup. You shouldn't have to really touch anything. Just change this to reflect where you have stuff installed. Uh, PC games, again, more advanced video. So uh, the only other thing that you have to double check is uh, make sure your media is located where you guys have it located. Now, by default, your media will be in uh, the pinup system folder pop media and uh, we've already set up folders for you guys automatically so if you want to do custom media and if you want to put your uh, other media files uh, that's where they'll be going but you can use the media manager for doing a lot of that so don't worry you don't need to do it the old-fashioned way it's gonna be much easier guys so once you got your set your basic setup already done for your emulators then uh, you're gonna then uh, close this out and then basically uh, we'll go to controller so this is going to be set up your uh, controllers, uh, your keys or your joystick uh, commands, whatever else. So by default, you know, there's minus one means there's, it's blanked out as in there's no configuration for uh, uh, game controller uh, buttons. 
so you, you can do your keyboard and game controller here. If you do the wizard, what that's going to do is it's going to take you step by step through each one so you can get it all done in one shot without clicking here, clicking there. Because you're at a cab, so you know you just click on one button for the wizard and then you just push your buttons as it goes through the whole uh, process. And uh, it just makes it easier for you guys. Now, uh, I'll point out some of the important ones to note here. Uh, record, start, and stop. That's used for recording screen, your, uh, your uh, cabinet screens to create media. So uh, you'll need to set that up. By default, there's nothing set up for that. Uh, and then just go through all the important ones. Exit emulator is obviously the, the really important. That's the key or button you'll push to completely exit out of your uh, game and bring you back to uh, pin up popper. Uh, these other ones are optional. You don't have to do all these, like game help, info, and flyer. Uh, you know, it depends on how many buttons you have in your cab, really. So don't stress out if you don't have enough buttons for everything here. Uh, game next and prior, that's obviously scrolling left and right. Uh, game start, that's your start button. That's if you want to start directly into a game instead of selecting it through the menus. Uh, home menu button, that's if you want to go directly back to the main home menu. And then uh, menu return is just basically a back button. Select is going to be your normal, you know, just a selection of whatever you have highlighted in the menu. And uh, menu slash system exit, that's basically if you want to get to the, you know, the exit shutdown type menu. Uh, page next and prior, that by default will go to the next uh, alphabet in the list of whatever uh, playlist you're in. And uh, show other, that's more, that's a more advanced one down the line. Uh, you know, uh, that may be another video, uh, but you know, that, that's something for uh, advanced users, I guess. And uh, when you're all through your configuration, you're set up ready to go with that. Then close her out. And uh, basically, uh, well, actually, hold on a second. I can't remember if I had them set up. All right, well, just visually to give you an idea. So this is, would be like, say your launch button. You know, like these are a couple ideas, like, you know, of how you can uh, set up buttons as of default. So you could try doing something like this, for example. Your start, coin, exit, your launch button, and your flipper buttons. Or you could try something like this if you have more buttons. Uh, that's to start the game directly. That's the, your menu uh, return. Uh, you know, like it, it really depends on how you guys want to do things. So, you know, don't assume... Uh, only one way is a good way. You know, play around and see if you can get some uh, good setup, setup and configurations going. Uh, so, what else we got here? Uh, let's see. All right, so that's the main stuff. Uh, scene themes. Oh, yes, this is important. Okay, so... All right, so this is basically the pinup pack editor, as I showed you before. But by doing, uh, when you're in pin, the pinup popper setup, if you click on this, it automatically loads it up and brings up the pinup menu pup pack. That pup pack is used specifically with pinup popper front end. So what you need to do, guys, is when you're first setting up, you need to either disable anything you guys are not using. So if you guys do not have a topper screen at all, or you are not wanting to use the topper screen, you need to go in here and turn this to off. And same thing with a DMD. If you have a virtual DMD, not a, not a real DMD, but like a virtual DMD and you're using a monitor to display that, uh, you want to make sure this is enabled. But if you don't have that and you, you don't want to use it, you have, say, a real DMD instead, then you're going to want to set that to off as well. It's totally up to you. Uh, I use both of them, so that's why mine is uh, on by default. Uh, and the same thing with uh, some of these other ones as well. If you, uh, uh, where are we here? Actually, well, that's, that's the main ones I'd say for now. Yeah, just make sure those two are turned off. And I think that's basically it for now. Uh, the rest of these should be default. Uh, so don't go messing around with them. Uh, and that's basically it. So you change those settings and then you save the pup pack. So once you've uh, changed that for your setup, it's going to be different for everyone. That, that's the main stuff right there. So at this point, we've got our initial setup. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back up our database. This button is extremely important. Get to know it well. Marry it. Love it. Because it will save you headaches down the line if you don't maintain your system. So regularly push this button to back up your database because it won't overwrite your old backup. It'll add a new file. So it doesn't hurt. It only takes a second. 
Look at that. Do you want to time? Do you want to do everything? Yes. So now our backup is good. And guess what? If you're like, I'm not sure if I did that right. Do it again. You know, like, and it's just going to make additional backups and it puts them in your pinup system folder in uh, the pup backup right here. See? So you got nothing to lose by backing up your database because your database is everything. It's the configuration of pinup popper and it'll be all your games and everything in there. So you want to make sure that's backed up. Very, very important, guys. And if you do any kind of an update, back up. If you do any major changes, back up. Cannot stress that enough. The database editor. Uh, well, this is basically, if you're an SQL guy, you understand SQL, you can do a lot of advanced stuff here. Uh, all I can say is for now, that'll be in another video, probably from smarter guys than me. Uh, but I don't go messing around with this unless you're comfortable with SQL and always make a backup before you mess around in here, okay? So there you go. Uh, so that's the main stuff. Uh, I, that's basically uh, basically uh, it for this uh, portion. Now, I'm just gonna show you that uh, because we're initially set up, uh, we don't have our game set up, we don't have anything else set up, but if you did try to launch it at this point, there you go, you can see our basic setup does come up even though we have no games, no nothing set up at all. We don't have it in our system, but we do have the defaults, which is these are your default playlists that will show up without anything configured or added to them. So I wanted to show you, I, this is a fresh install and it's showing my play field, my back glass, my uh, DMD and my topper. Now understand the default media is not animated. It's just still image videos. That was just to keep the install file size down. Uh, we're gonna provide you know nicer media for you guys to download if you wanna use them for your default media like you saw in my previous videos. Uh, so don't freak out, but and as you can see, the, the, the wheel bar, the default wheel bar is showing up. And then the, one of the nice new features is it will fade away when you don't touch it after a few seconds and it looks nice and clean. So we've confirmed your initial setup is good. We've backed it up. So that's basically it for this video. Uh, so now we're gonna be you know, uh, moving on to more advanced ones in uh, our next video. Yeah, our, our next one, our next video is going to be uh, basically how to, how to import your games into your database, set up playlists, and maybe some very basic media management. Uh, so look for that in the video, make sure you follow it step by step so that you'll have an easy time getting things done in the proper order because for your first setup, it, it's very important guys. So watch for that video uh, and uh, see you then.